Cancer, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 16th through July the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Cancer for July the 16th through July the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Cancer for July the 16th through July the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Cancer for July the, 20, July the 16th through July the 22nd, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Cancer. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Cancer, this is a peek at your partner. So, Cancer, your partner has the Nine of Wands. Your partner has the Three of Cups. Your partner has the Ace of Swords. Your partner has the Four of Swords. And your partner has Death. So, Cancer, your partner has the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have their guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication here. Your partner could tell me that they're holding back because they're stuck or your partner's saying that they don't trust something here and they're just blocking communication. We'll see, Cancer. Your partner has the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate. Your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups for Cancer's partner. Clarify the three of cups for Cancer's partner. Clarify the three of cups for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're happy. They want to be happy. They're over the moon 
or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Cancer's partner. Clarify the sun for Cancer's partner. Clarify the sun for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So cancer, listen, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment here. So listen, cancer, your partner can tell me that. Listen, I'm happy. I'm over the moon. You know, there's this offer coming into me. I have just cause to celebrate here. It could be an offer of commitment, having just cause to celebrate or some type of practicality here. And for your partner could just be highly suspicious and thinking it's too good to be true and they're feeling stuck concerning the situation? Or is it that your partner is saying that something was illuminated, something came to light about there being a third party? That you accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone, and this is the reason why they're highly suspicious and maybe blocking. But it just seems so good here. Can so your partner has the ace of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Cancer, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that they've come into some truth and clarity. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting nor rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer would be rejected. So Cancer, listen, very well could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, they could be contemplating sending an offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. Hey, well, you know, your partner could tell me that there's an offer coming into them and their decision is to not accept it. They feel like they don't want this offer. Your partner could tell me that they're the ones wanting to come in with this offer and communicate, but they have this fear, so they could be just holding back here. They may want to reunite with you and give you this offer. Cancer, your partner has the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Cancer, your partner's telling me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something. Clarify the four of swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the four of swords for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. So listen, Cancer. Your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break because someone has new love. They accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else. Yeah. However, I just feel like your partner is maybe meditating on this blessing. Money, assets, resources, property, having just cause to celebrate, but they're stuck here. Or whether or not they want to have this offer, whether or not to make the decision to accept. Or they're meditating on starting new and reuniting with you. And it very well could be you coming into them with this offer 
or them wanting to come in with you with this offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. I can't. So your partner has death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Cancer could be dealing with a Scorpio, but your partner could tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Cancer's partner. Clarify death for Cancer's partner. Clarify death for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Cancer could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or your partner's telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Cancer's partner. Clarify the fool for Cancer's partner. Clarify the fool for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Cancer, listen, this can be about your partner's money, assets, resources, abundance, yes? Someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. You know, Cancer, you know, there very well could be some type of transformation taking place here if your partner takes this leap concerning their abundance, their coins, having just cause to celebrate this blessing here. It's just that they have to make a decision concerning it, and they may be kind of stuck on making this decision, okay? Maybe thinking about missing it. I don't know. Maybe it seems too good to be true to them. I don't know what the problem is. It looks good on paper. It looks good on this table, okay? <laughs> But Cancer, your partner could also tell me that they're wanting to either start new after an ending or go through some type of transformation or change with you. No longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're speaking of marriage here. They're meditating on this new era in love. You know, they want to come forward with this communication, but they have this fear it won't be accepted. They want to have just cause to celebrate and be happy. They're stuck and maybe holding back because of this fear that it won't be accepted. Hmm. Yeah. Cancer. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner. Hmm. They're just afraid of you. They are afraid of your answer. And so. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Maybe that's why they fear you won't accept their offer here. But they're coming in. They're coming in. They're wanting something more committed with you. Hmm. Cancer, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 16th through July the 22nd, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.